Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As we have already done two videos on history of English literature, this is third video. If you have not watched those videos, you can check out that video. I have one telegram channel, you will find the link in description box. You can join that channel too for the notifications and uh, these all notes. So let's go ahead. Poetry in Chaucer's is so first of all we are going to talk about Chaucer and Chaucer was born in 1340 we have already talked about this year lots of time his father name was father's name was John Chaucer 1359 he joined army he went to France and he got captured there and because of treaty of Brittany in 1360 he came back 10 years he spent in Adverse Court and from 1368 to 1387 he was on official journey to Flanders, France and Italy. And this official journey made a great difference in his writing. And he died in 1400 and he is buried in Poets Corner. This is about his life and just this thing happened in his life that's why he has now we have divided his poetic works into three phases ws Auden tells about chaucer that like shakespeare and milton he was on the contrary a man of the world and affairs means he was engaged in these things as well shakespeare and milton were just poet and artist now, as I earlier told you that his poetic career is divided into three. So, the first is the French period, second is the Italian period and third one is the English period. We will talk about first the French period. In this period, he wrote a poem ABC, A Prayer to the Virgin. He translated some part of Roman de la Rose and the book of Duchess in 1369 on the death of Blanche, John of Gaunt's wife. So this was uh, whenever we talk about a poet, first period is always of translation, whether translation or we can say the weak structures or uh, they just do some trial work there. Experiments, the ease of experiments we can call it in short. Let's talk about the Italian period, what he wrote in this period. In 1382, he wrote The House of Fame. Um, it is a dream allegory. And if you don't know what allegory is, allegory is usually uh, in allegory, we have some, um, some symbols which represent other things. The Parliament of Fowls, Troilus and Cressida. Based on Boccaccio's Flistrato, so this work Troilus and Cressida has, uh, you know, influence of Boccaccio's Flistrato. 1385. Lesson of Good Women. This is an unfinished work planned to contain 19 tales. In this, we have 8 finished tales and 9th was just begin. So, like Canterbury Tales, we don't have all the tales. There are 24 tales only. Uh, here, Legend of Good Women has 8 finished. He planned to have 19 tales there. The story of Grisida, the Kalak's tale, and the story of Constance. So, this, this was the Italian period. Chaucer was the first person to use naked words. Here are some uh, facts about Chaucer and what he uh, invented or he used the first time. He introduced a heroic couplet, so naked words, heroic couplet, and Canterbury Tales is called a human comedy. Sometimes it is asked in question, uh, in your question papers. He was the first national poet of England. Let's talk about War of Roses as well. It is dated between 1455 to 1487. England, Wales and Lawless, these three uh, 
places took part in this is result of the i will tell you the shortcut way as well to remember who won and who lost so result was lancastrian won and tudor dynasty was established due uh, due to this war and uh, after result of this war the house of york was white means they had uh, you know white roses as symbol this is called war of roses because both the houses has their you know roses and uh, the symbol of their dynasties so the house of york has white roses and the house of lancaster had red now let me tell you here you will find lancaster so r is there so you will have red rose for that and another is white so it's obvious all right and lancasterian one so because n is there so n n and r both are there so red one so you can uh, see that who is you know red in anger they can uh, fight more fierce uh, fiercely they can uh, fight so they want the war so in this way you can remember war of roses what happened in war of roses so hopefully you liked the video if you like the video please do comment and share the video with your friends and what else you can do you can say thanks to me for creating this video all right see you in next video bye bye take care good luck for your exams